full force with Clarity with Sue. We are full force. Thank you so much for uh, your patience. Hey, you know what? This happens in life. It does. And what I mean by that is hiccups, fears, doubts, the stuff, life. It could be an in-law. It could be a stop sign or a not stop sign or somebody running through a stop, whatever that is. Or it could be technical difficulties like I have this money. <laughs> they could hear me and I couldn't hear them. Uh, anyways, it is about that self-regulating. And it is also trusting in yourself, trusting in the divine source, however you adjective that to describe whatever that feels for you in your body. And I think this is a really fitting conversation to just trust in the divine, trust in self, trust in love, trust in the service of the divine and everything that's happening. And um, we are going to, I'm going to bring on my guests in just a minute, but there was something that I wanted to read and it's, it's the vibe of the day. And it really rung true for me. And I, of course, and I picked this two days ago and I'm like, oh, I got to print this out because this is so good. And then you're going to, when I read it, you'll be like, oh, this is perfect, especially for right now, what has been happening to you. But before I do, or when I do that, before I do that, whatever I'm trying to say is I've got Dr. Nancy, is it widely or Am I, Cause I want, we didn't yeah. even get a chance to make sure I pronounce it correctly. Yes. It's Dr. Nancy Wiley. Wiley. Yes. Okay. So you're going to love this because you know, it's the vibe of the day. I'm going to read that and then I'm going to go into your formal bio. And then as the audience, and they know this, we want to get to know your vibe, your energy, your backstory. But before I do that, check this out, doc vibe of the day, forgive who you did not know how to love you. They taught you self-love. Forgive who did not know how to treat you as you deserve. They showed you self-care. Forgive who did not believe in your dreams. They pushed you to go forward and self-motivate. Forgive who did not know how to support you. They helped you to self-empower. Forgive and make room in your soul to become the best version of yourself. Mm. Is that so juicy, Doc? Mm, I love it. So juicy. Okay, I'm going to get to the bio. We are going to talk about divine trust and uh, her latest baby, a practical guide, a practical guide to end your suffering and find your way home. And I love that because I had a little bit of suffering going on this morning coming into the show, (laughs) but it's all beautiful. It's all beautiful. All right. Dr. Nancy Wiley DDS is a highly trained scientist who is an expert in physical body as she is in subtle body and spiritual realms. After having received her BA in biology from the University of Maryland, Dr. Wiley went on to receive her MS in nutrition and her DDS as a certificate in orthodontics from Columbia University. She has also received her diploma to the American Board of Orthodontics and Qualified Oral Facial Myelology Certificate. (laughs) I don't even know how to say that's a big myologist. Yeah, it is a mouthful, right? <laughs> that is a mouthful. Welcome. Thank you Thank so much you. for your love and your patience. And yes, of course, everything happens in divine timing. <laughs> it is. And you have your latest baby, the divine trust, a mm-hmm. practical guide to end your suffering and find your way home. Welcome. Thanks, Sue. And You're I welcome. really appreciate that. And I just can't be without saying this, you know, like when stuff like that happens, it's really like the divine playing with you. So can you laugh at yourself when this is going on? Because oh. that is the true test, right? Can we hold our crap together when things <laughs> are not working? And yeah, yes. you held it together with grace and oh, with ease you. and yes you did awesome <laughs> thank you and benny thank you yeah benny, you're welcome <laughs> yeah and, and you know i we've been doing this for over 12 years i know what to, you know and then they're like no we're gonna throw a little ball your way all right well to the radio world welcome hi pacific northwest to the international tribe canada italy australia all my peeps that are listening to us, uh, possibly after we've turned this into the podcast world. Hi, thank you so much for joining us. If you are listening to us on terrestrial radio and would like to see us, you can see us uh, actually simultaneously on YouTube, uh, Facebook, and Instagram. All you got to do is type in the uh, KKNW 1150 AM. We will be uh, 
live on radio and then we'll do a quick commercial break around 8 30 ish and we'll still be live on youtube so if you want to see us talking and educating you're welcome to do that and invited to do that as well all right so praise for the divine trust can i can i give you some kudos miss doctor yeah That's sure pretty amazing in divine trust dr nancy powerfully guides us to experience a deep sense of safety and love that is fundamental to living our best lives the profound state will transform your world and strengthen your connection to the divine. As you use the techniques in the book, you'll experience greater heart opening and trust in the universe. Let it lift, carry, and nourish every aspect of your being. Marcy Shimoff. Yes. Boom. I feel like there should be a drum roll after that. Okay. I can go on and praise and talk more about this. Let's get to know you. Let's get to know the why and your drive behind this, because I think that's really important. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. it's um, it's quite a story of uh, synchronistic events. So, and and it does take a little bit of time. Is what I'm. I am going to explain the backstory. So, here I am, a scientist, like all six advanced degrees and um, certifications, but. I also got book. I started uh, transcendental meditation when I was 16. My mom like saw that I was so intense and she's like, oh my God, this, this young girl needs to de-stress somehow. So she took me to learn, yeah, transcendental meditation. And right, maybe a year after that, someone gave me a book called The Power of Your Subconscious Mind by Dr. Joseph Murphy. And then maybe a year after that, I got Paramahansa Yogananda's Autobiography of a Yogi. So here's this brainiac going down. I always say, okay, that I was developing my left brain, but with all this other stuff, my right brain. And it seems like two divergent worlds because the scientific world tells you if you can't reproduce it in an experiment and it's not you know visible to your eyes you're you know it's not reproducible in this materialistic world it's not real a 3d world that's yes yeah. yes yeah. and then i started having slowly slowly like very profound experiences uh, i tried different types of meditation first was like 25 years of transcendental meditation and then eight years of holosync which supposedly uses brainwave entrainment with you you use two uh you know headphones yeah and i did that for eight years and i'm here i'm going like this oh my god when are these peak experiences <laughs> gonna happen right i'm like you know what i i per persevered and persisted that's like one of my my um big strengths is i keep going because i read the book Parama by paramahansa yogananda and i'm like if it's possible to become enlightened in this incarnation i'm gonna do it so i kept on you know as a sidetrack but then something ignited in me i started having all these weird synchronistic events like here's what my mom i was just starting my first year of orthodontic school, still at Columbia, still in Manhattan. And my mom got diagnosed with stage three breast cancer. The tumor was the size of a grapefruit, right? So she asked if I would come home. You know, I, I wanted to be home with her when she had her surgery. So I came home the weekend before. So she lived in Maryland and she asked me to go to this sun set mass in this chapel about an hour away from where we lived. It was exquisite. So here we are in this mass and the sun is setting fire red behind in the mountains of Maryland. And this priest goes, I'm going to do a laying of the hands on after mass. Okay. So um, although I was raised Catholic, I really wasn't religious and that's a whole nother story, but she goes, stand in line while I, you know, get this laying of the hands on. So there wasn't very many people. It was like maybe 30 people in this whole chapel. So we waited in line. There was like two people in front of her. When it came time, the priest put his hands on her face and held it there. He asked her, what's your malady? So she told him he held, he held his hands on her face for a, what seemed like about 12 minutes. She told me that it was like red hot. So here we go. This is a Friday. Monday, we go for the surgery. My dad and I are in the you know lounge where the doctor came out and said, I don't know how this is possible. I know the tumor was large. We could not find any trace of it. 
but we did find positive lymph nodes, which we removed and we removed her breast anyway. So she and I said that was a miracle. We witnessed a miracle. So we became Reiki masters. Also, while I'm at Columbia, Dr. Oz is there at the same time doing research, of course, of course. using Reiki on his cardiac patients that have surgery and coming out with these profound results. So we did research and then we became Reiki masters together. So that's like one, these like such profound like little breadcrumbs. If, if anyone out there listens, you are being shown little breadcrumbs leading you to your best and highest life of what you're supposed to be doing. And it can be like what you love. It could be like a tragedy that's there, but all things are unfolding like this beautiful rose to take you to the exact place of why you're here on this planet earth right now. So that was one. So it kept me hungry. It kept me thirsty and looking. And the more I look, the more profound, crazy things happen. So in 2008, I found a great teacher. Oh my God, if you could ever study with her, do it. Her name is Jedda Molly and J E D D A H and last name Molly, M A L I out of UK. She started teaching a class called the Pathway to Enlightenment through learning strategies, and it was called the Pathway to Enlightenment. So I started studying with her almost from the very, very first meditation, like fireworks, and I don't know, something just opened, and I started having the most profound meditative experiences, everything I had been waiting for, had heard about. And experienced unity consciousness. I mean, it didn't happen right away. That took years. I've been now studying with her for like 13 years. She is fantastic. Fantastic. And so for listeners who like, oh, I want that too. Here's what you have to do. You have to put the intention out there. I I will. I am enlightened. Okay, one. You decide. You decide. And then things start to open up for you. You hear this show, you, you, you hear things about, you know, these amazing things that can happen to us. And after that, Sue, like just so many bizarre things started happening. Like, oh my God. So all the synchronicities, I, all the stuff. Oh my God. Okay, like you so, said, the breadcrumbs, right? But it, right? And don't you think when you start opening up, if you expand your awareness and you have that awareness, the educator and the teacher just starts showing up and then it's your choice, your choice, whether you lean into it or not. If it feels right, great. If it doesn't, there'll be another one, right? And the more you open and allow, the more happens. And it's like, you, you have to first trust, like you got to find someone you trust that, that you can first use their experiences, their certainty, their divine trust to kind of open your way, you know, cause I didn't have that at first. She showed me the way and I trusted her to completely let go and listen to her guided meditation. She uses guided meditation that she, I don't, she, Oh my God. It's just oh, I would so be so out. into that. I need some new guided meditations. Oh, you should get, get us connected love. Yeah. Okay. So, well now, so now I'm the one, I'm the one that is to be guiding people. I'm the one who's opened my vehicle to be able to do it. And they tell me my guides, my spirit guides, where I don't know whatever it is as a scientist, this is so hard for me to say, used to be, it's not anymore. <laughs> but I love that conversation too, you know, and it's the I same know. with dogma or spirituality. I want it all because it's all energy. We know that it's all love energy. It really, I mean, yeah. 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 The more you can love and open yourself, the more profound your experiences are going to be. It is so great. I, I was listening to some of your shows and I heard you, you, um, work with Joe Dispenza. Fantastic. Also fantastic. He's a little more active. I'm a little more, or Jetta and the way I do it is a little more allowing just passive, you know, just opening yourself up to the experience and letting it flow through you. So, right. um, so here I, I still have to finish part of that story. So here I'm an orthodontist on the Parkland Coral Springs border working 
on um, the day of February 14th, 2018. And I have a mom standing next to me and she's like, there's an active shooter at Douglas, which is Marjorie Stillman Douglas in Parkland. And it happened to be, you know, the mass shooting by uh, Nicholas Cruz, unfortunate um, being that was here fulfilling his destiny to, you know, have us all go through this, you know, experience. So here I am. And the next morning I find out I lost a patient and one of my staff lost her sister. But moreover, the whole community in mass shock, mass suffering, and unable to move forward still still to this day. I mean, the, the trial started like four weeks ago and it's like opening up wounds and Uvalde mass shooting opening yeah. up wounds. But here's what I found out. So my mom had just passed away she and I were so close. I told you about that experience of becoming Reiki master. She took me to learn transcendental meditation and then her, her miraculous healing. So we, we were the closest. She passes away from Alzheimer's and I do not suffer. Her funeral is five days before the shooting. And I'm the only one holding it together. My dad's suffering, my brother suffering, my sister suffering. I'm the closest to her. And I was the one that didn't suffer at all. Like I was completely in divine trust. Oh, totally. We have a different, we have a different ask. We have a different energy, a different way of looking Mm. at, you know, death. What, you know, I, I, it's so different for me and having this conversation, not going into that fear. Right. And people look at us going, no, come be in fear with me. Are you kidding? Please. Yeah, right. energy is neither created nor destroyed. It just changes. Yes. Yeah. And then, um, you know, I've had so many afterlife um, communications that I no yeah. longer believe that you just die and the body is gone. It's yep. just the it, it leaves the vehicle, but yep. it goes on and and it's true form. Anyways, yeah, we're diver- diverting. So, okay. um, <laughs> so I, you know, five days after my mom's death, the shooting happened. I see what's happening. I start watching the news. I sit down, like glued to the TV, trying to get, you know, who else maybe do I know? I'm going to funeral after funeral and, you know, vigil candlelight vigils. And um, I'm like, oh God, I'm suffering. I got to, I got to see, I got to go deep into communion. So My meditations are usually shorter, but this meditation I went in five days after the shooting was about two hours. It was long. I had to first clear my energy. You know, that took a while because I was really going down a rabbit hole. And when I got there and I communed with source energy directly, which is what I teach in the book, I got answers to why this happens and I was no longer suffering. And then I become unshakable. So even though, you know, things will start to, you know, maybe for a short period, start, I could still feel my energy wobble. I can quickly get it together. This state of divine trust does something like this. When you start to wobble, it goes and suddenly everything's clear and you are connected and you are nourished and you see that there is no hair out of place ever has been out of place. Everything's unfolding perfectly according to the plan. So then you ask like, why does it happen? Hmm. And that's like maybe our next, (laughs) our next segment, but it was because I realized I no longer suffered that I wrote the book, but it, it, it happened by a series of crazy synchronistic events it didn't happen right away because that was 2018 the book wasn't written until 2020 by another series of just you can't well leave this story (laughs) (laughs) don't you all i mean come on i mean uh, i because you're you're talking my life i mean it's my life that's where i reside in all of that and i know close family members my own family they're just like I, I don't understand you, Sue. I don't, I don't understand. And I just don't allow myself anymore to get down that rabbit hole. Like you were talking about, um, the rabbit hole of fear, the, the anxiety, the resentment, that whole, you know, I've learned it's called the refractory period, right? You can live in that refractory period of fear and scarcity and doubt for 10 minutes. 10 hours, 10 years, it becomes you after a while, right? I don't want that. I don't want that stuff in my body. 
<laughs> and I also love, I love how you were talking about it, Dr. Nancy, about things come into your, because I know I've, I'm trained in Reiki and the one, all, all the stuff, the certifications. And I have found hands down, it's all about love. It's all about your heart energy and, and projecting, not projecting, but sharing, sharing that with everybody, right? And keeping yourself in that state above the line. Go ahead, Dr. Nancy. Can I? Okay. So, yes. so again, you know, it was so clear the left brain versus the right brain. When you're in love, you you're in the present moment. You you know that you're coming from that. That that unifies, that finds what's good and common. It doesn't blame, shame, complain, or find what's lacking, missing, or wrong. That is the human reptilian remnant of our brain. You're switching to being in the present moment. That's where the glory is. That is where it's at. And then, holy crap, you're, you're Thoughts. When you can merge with that, your thoughts actually become of that. When you surrender to it, it's just, oh my God. Oh, I know. I know. I, I, how do you even put words? How can you even put an you, adjective on it? It's so ease. It's so L-O-V-E. I say the word love. Isn't however, it nourishing? Isn't oh, it it's like, nourishing. Just, it's it just fills you up and anything that's not it becomes like it. It's just a glorious, delicious state of being. And yes, love, pure love and peace and goodness and commonality, but yet acceptance of all the differences. It's just has an exquisite beauty. I love I mean, it, Dr. Nancy. Okay, wait, we got to take a commercial break. We're going to take, <laughs> and I can hear Benny going, we got to take a break, we got to take a break. Uh, I love it, I love it. It's juiciness, it's a bun. it's just, it is it being the frequency and the energy of love and tapping into your divine, whatever that divine, it could be Gus, it could be divine. You guys have heard me say, it could be purple chopsticks. <laughs> I don't care, I don't. I want you in love, I want you to, I want you to share love. I want you to feel love. I want you, not want, I desire and intend for you to have that self-love, that self-care. And then you're going to bring that threefold, twofold into your 3D world. It's just, you're going to attract it, right? All right. We are going to take a quick commercial break. We're still live on YouTube and we're talking to Dancy, Dancy. See, I, I totally, I did the company. <laughs> Dr. Nancy, Dancy. Oh, I love it. I love it. Divine trust with Dancy. <laughs> Dr. Nancy Wiley. All right. Sue here with Clarity with Sue. We're going to take a quick commercial break. We're still live on YouTube. So come join us and play over there. We'll be right back, you guys. All right. All clear, everybody. Yay! Yay! <laughs> okay. So I... I have, I printed out your book. I would love to get into some nuts and bolts with you when we go back live. And I know hi all to the YouTubers. Love you guys. Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, and those of you that are joining us in the podcast world later, thank you as well. Uh, I'm talking to, uh, well, her latest baby, Divine Trust, a practical guide to end suffering and find your way home. Now I want that word suffering, Dr. Nancy, has a huge umbrella. Suffering can be you getting in your own way. It could be, well, that's a whole nother umbrella, but even trickling down from that, it's fear, it's resentments, it's proving yourself, it's having that last bite of conversation, whatever that is. And you don't have to, you, you simply do not have to. And when you are in divine trust, however you choose to adjective that when you're in that state of being you don't have any of that you you just it's and it's i don't melt it away it just and and for people listening because i you know and, and like you it's advocating for the audience and i hear them going oh, are you kidding me Sue? what do you mean because their their bodies are still addicted to the chemicals that they're releasing because of the dramas and the fears and stuff like that 
I'd love to have and unpack that conversation. Sure. We can do a little bit here, but let's, I'd love to do that on radio too. It's such okay. a powerful conversation. Oh my gosh. Let me know when you're ready. Cause I do, I want to expound upon that about like my, um, awareness, uh, regarding that. Yeah. It's good <laughs> stuff. Okay. I'm going to, while, while we're waiting for Benny and the commercial break, I'm going to remind the audience guys on YouTube, we're talking about divine trust, practical guide to end your suffering and find your way home. This beautiful young lady is Dr. Nancy Wiley. And I'm going to just read a little bit with the contents for you guys. So you can have a little noodle about we're it. actually coming back, Sue. So you can just do oh, that live. Oh, there okay? we go. We're going to jump in. Thank so, you, Benny. Exactly, yeah. And also Dr. Nancy, can I actually just put your camera down just a scotch more? Just frame sure. me up a little bit better. Perfect. A little bit more. There we go. There's a beautiful there face. Yeah. <laughs> well, now she leans back in her chair. <laughs> Way uh, right. there, better. Yes, much better. Thank you. All right, stand okay. by. Just this calm. <laughs> and then she comes in. It's like chaos. Ding, 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 ding. Love, I love your laugh. Chaos. Oh my god, your laugh and my laugh. Wow. <laughs> I know. I know. I love it. Okay, well, welcome back, everybody. Benny, thank you for our commercial break. Uh, Sue here. We are with Clarity with Sue. If you want a copy of the show, all you got to do is go to claritywithsue.com, sign up for the newsletter, and you can get all the goodies and the gifts and the, the juicy stuff there as well. We are talking to Dr. Nancy Wiley. Uh, during the commercial break on YouTube, we were talking about that suffering, the umbrella of suffering. And Dr. Nancy is going to kind of unpack that for us. Her latest book, Divine Trust. It's practical guide and suffering as a big umbrella. Suffering can be uh, trust, no trust, lack of love, self love. I mean, fear. There's all kinds of things in that suffering. And we were noodling a little bit uh, on the break about we as humans are, we have chemicals that are released in the body and we we're going to go into that conversation. And when you guys hear me say that we are addicted to those chemicals and you get a little trigger from that, good. I want you to hear this because this is, this is the nuts and bolts of it. Your body is addicted to the drama. It's your body. It's not you. Your body is chemically addicted to the release of chemicals that are happening when you have a charge of fear, when you have a charge of drama, the water cooler conversation or somebody supporting your fear or, or that, right? You've got, you've got, your body's having a reward. So Dr. Nancy, let's unpack that for the audience and give them some nuts and bolts. Okay. So you remember I was talking about that left brain, the reptilian brain, it's scanning the horizon for what's lacking, missing wrong. It's also blaming, shaming, complaining. It's living in the past or fear of the future. Right. So my, um, when that shooting happened, I had a psychologist friend or patient of mine. And he said, you watch those kids at the school are going to start committing suicide. I'm like, I don't understand the connection. He said, they're either going to have survivor's guilt. So they're going to be re or a severe anxiety, reliving that past trauma, never able to move forward. So that's living in the past or projecting onto the future, but it's still the left brain. It's still the reptilian remnant. And it is the sympathetic fight or flight releasing a whole coast of um, neurotransmitters and all hosts of different chemicals that are meant to only work in short term for the, the fight, fight or flight, flight to make you run. Fight. Yes. Yes. Now contrast that to breathing coming into the present moment. Now, here's the thing we're not really, you know, it's kind of like the elephant in the room. So you can come into the present moment, but most people just have this spiritual bypass where they trust based on someone else, but they are not having a direct experience themselves. It's you have to almost be taught this in the present moment in breathing and having this coach or guide or whatever to get you into the present moment to get you connected. So divine trust, if you look at trust the definition in the Webster um, dictionary, it's the firm belief in the reliability, strength, or truth of a thing. In this case, God, source, universe, whatever, 
right? But it's a belief. It implies that you don't have a direct relationship. It's not a tangible relationship. It's, it's based on faith where you don't get any tangible proof of evidence, right? That is not at all what I'm saying. Divine trust is an actual development of this, this direct relationship with source, God, the universe, whatever, your higher self, whatever purple chopsticks, is that what you call it? Yeah. <laughs> well, purple, you know, I don't I don't want to put somebody in, you know, in the box because everybody's right. got their own right. purple chopstick. Right. Nature, whatever. Whatever. It's coming into the present moment and connecting to it. I see it, it communes with me, it talks to me. Yeah. I hear it, see it, yeah. feel it, sense it, and know it. I have yep. a certainty, a yep. certainty with this relationship. And once I connect to it and I allow it, I surrender to it, which is a morning. Um, every morning I do two uh, procedures or two types of techniques, which are so simple. And I'll share those with you too. But once you surrender to it, it just, you know, your vehicle becomes the actual, um, vehicle that it's working through. It's no longer my Dr. Nancy ego and thoughts. It's actually a pure coming through. So what's coming out my mouth is the translation as best I can say through English words and keep up with it because it is pretty fast and pretty, uh, pretty um, amazing, uh, fast energy um, and very light-filled, expansive. It's it's hard for my vehicle to keep up with, but I'm translating it as best I can to get it out to your listeners and viewers. So um, did that kind of answer what you were trying to nuts and bolts? It's an actual direct relationship that is a two-way street. It's yeah. there feeding you and you're seeing it. It's a back and forth, but you have to, one, have that decision Two, be shown how to do it. And three, be allowing allow it to be allow and receivership are huge mm, it is oh i mean really take a minute for that and that has been and as a recovering people pleaser grew up in a codependent atmosphere and resentments and all that stuff i have been shoveling and getting that stuff out of me <laughs> you know I, it's I don't have a lot of that. And I don't have the emotional charge anymore until a a family member or somebody reminds me of it. And then right. I'm like, Oh, I guess I need to, to look at that again and, and get that out of my nervous system. Right. right. Um, there's no, and, and the reason I'm saying this, Dr. Nancy, and also to you audience, it's going on the backup of what Dr. Nancy was talking about and not having that emotional charge anymore. I don't want that charge in my body because I don't want to fake my body out to say you're going to get chemical reaction and you're going to keep staying there. I don't want that. I don't want the resentment. I don't want the fear. I want that out of my body. I want to stay in the present moment, divine love as much as I possibly can, especially in the face of fear and doubts. So, so on top of that, Here's here's the way we deal with that fears. We like try to push them down, push them away, ignore them, like stuff them, stuff them down. Oh, you, no. you know what you what I found is so much helpful is to when something comes up like that, like because we're all triggered by our family of origin, right? Because we were we didn't know how to do this stuff back then. So when something like that is, and you get a trigger, it's not to push it; it's to like oh come here you I welcome you you're here again I thought I was done with you but no I must I have love you darling I love you but no yes. <laughs> yes and let it be okay here's the thing we're like so hooked to you know finding the happiness but we're not it's we're having a human experience we have to leave room to allow for those times where we can't find our volume to our th thing, you know, and just oh. say, Oh, you know what? It's, I love everything about this life. And when I get triggered, okay, I must, I must be falling out of whatever. So I need to look at it and love it. 
Yes. And because I do it. I have Repeat that. Wait, wait, wait. We got to put yes. a pin in that, Dr. Nancy, because that is so important because society and media and people, they think that you, you have to ignore it or push it away. And, and that's a, that the complete opposite. Completely. And I use the word CCs, compassionate curiosity, because it takes that sting yeah. out of it. Get yeah. compassionate with yourself and the other person or the situation. Get real curious. Let mm -hmm. it just be there. Let's get curious. And, and, I, and I still am having those situations, you know, deep rooted family situations that have just come up to my awareness. And I, like you and audience, I walk this talk every day and, and Dr. Nancy, you do as well. Sure. Oh but my God. still, <laughs> I, you know, I get, I get a very hardcore text from one of my family members and I went into holy shiitake because, and I, I got to say that because of FCC rules. If, if I had my own <laughs> podcast, I might be saying something a little bit different, but <laughs> holy shiitake mushrooms, we're going to go there. And what I did instead of ignoring it, going into denial, or just pushing it away, no, I don't, no, no, all that, you know, I kind of said that. I went, Whew. And it was just, just this massive rush of what I, you know, all the stuff. And for a good 15, 20 minutes, it was present with itself and I allowed it to be there. And then it's off my body. And now mm -hmm. I, I'm like, all right, okay. What I do with the divine trust is in that state, I allow it to come in. Like I have people in the book, I have them write down a list of all the things where they or someone else they knew had, you know, a situation where their mind labeled it as lacking, missing, wrong, or, you know, something. Oh, did you guys hear that? Where your mind labeled it. I think that's super important, Dr. Nancy. Yeah. Yes, please. Yeah. 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 And then in the state of divine trust, log into it. It's taking the light of pure consciousness and pure love and just bringing it into that situation. It completely transmutes it and melts it into what isn't it. It's so fantastic. But I, I do, I want to be totally transparent. I have a special needs daughter. She is now 23 and she lives with me. She lives with me and my husband, and she knows how to push those buttons. She really does. So it's like having a perpetual five-year-old. Oh, right? yeah. Um, and it's a petri dish of constant learn. I mean, I've raised three girls. I'm with you, sister. I'm with you. <laughs> so, you know, when I, I used to say, I would say to Jetta, Jetta, I yelled at my daughter again today. So it just shows how unspiritual I am and how not ready I am for this work. You know what she would say to me? Yeah. I'd say, choose again. Yes. You have a choice. Your next second, choose again. And, you know, she had to say it over and over and over again to me. And finally, somewhere along the lines, um, and this was from Deborah Poneman. I am also, I'm in so many things. This is with your year of miracle. She used to be the oh. host. And she would say, you know what? You you're having a human experience. So when you yell at someone who just cut you off on the highway, don't say, you see, I'm not, I'm not a good person. Stop and laugh at yourself. So somewhere along her, the lines from Jetta and, and Deborah saying these two things to me, I'd be like, you know what? It, I'm having a human experience. It's all about maintaining your grace and ease and your composure. And okay, choose again this next second. So yeah. I do want to be sure that it's completely transparent that, you know, that is my life and I do fall out, but I catch myself. Um, that and right there, right there, Dr. Nancy is the important part because that's yeah. the simpleness of awareness. Yeah. It's that it's simple and so profound, it is so, so profound, profound. <laughs> because if, if you keep your head in the sand, which I did for years, yeah, I, I, me too. I, the audience me too. knows that, right? Because yeah. it's easier. Oh, yeah. I don't have to deal with that if my head's yeah. in the sand, right? <laughs> well, we don't have the tools. We don't know no. what to do. And now with all of the light workers on the planet, what you're doing, what I'm doing, it's starting to open up. And because of the technology, I'm shown, I'm assured, you know, that's what I'm being 
told by my spirit guides and masters that the whole planet's going to light up. There's still going to be like a fraction of maybe a quarter that won't light up. And those are maybe the young souls, or I guess we always have to have contrast, but three quarters of the planet are going to light up with this knowledge. We are hungry. We are here on the planet for a reason and in everybody's heart who's alive right now, these words are speaking right to their heart. It's opening up something. This vibration that's going out on your show right now, what I'm saying, what you're saying is actually transforming people's lives. And it's so powerful. And we, if you're listening to this or watching this, you are part of the light. You are part of this transformation. And don't discount it. Oh, here's another Don't discount it. It's really important because there's a reason that you're hearing this there is a reason yes. you called it into your awareness so number one y'all that are listening right mm -hmm. on for you for listening to your intuition exactly it's you you brought yeah, us exactly. to your reality yeah. Yeah. and it's you you have the power you and you know what dr nancy i've been saying this I, I, it seems like for the last couple years when i'm on the radio show it's like this big blaring permission slip yes Right? Yes. You have the permission. You don't have to do that. Be that. Experience right. that. You don't have to. Guess what? Right. You design your own life. You design right. it. Right. And you get to reclaim my, my words. Reclaim, redesign, you know. And big anchor words for me, Dr. Nancy, are authentic and genuine. It's been so perfect. It's just this. Duh. What oh, is authentic sure. and genuine to me as mm -hmm. I'm reclaiming and redesigning, right? And it's so powerful. And responsibility. So oh, huge. Responsibility. Oh, you know, well, that like, that all in the nutshell, I am reclaiming and redesigning. That is my responsibility. There's no healing. Right. You are healing so much, not in only in your DNA and your lineage, but collectively. It's like this massive clearing that we're going through this massive shift. You've heard of the um, <laughs> ascension, which I had no clue what it was, but it's that we're clearing. It's this massive clearing. We're being given tools, shown the way. Ho oh, Pono Pono. Oh my God. Yes. 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 Oh, yes, I yes, love yes. Ho oh, Pono Pono. Oh. Yes. Yeah, so amazing. Okay. So I do want to share one really essential Thing that I think everybody needs to know about can do it. It's so easy. We're good, love. We got about seven minutes. You're okay. okay. I just want to talk every single morning. I give myself a dose of self love. Now, it was really hard for me to do this at first because, you know, I have conditional attachments to like my husband and my daughter, but my dog is so pure and precious and innocent. <laughs> what I do before I even open my eyes, but I realize I'm conscious in the morning is I focus on my dog. I let my love and the purity flow. And then I turn it on myself. I put it all going here until I feel this expansion. And then I surrender to divine trust or to this relationship with the source. And I let it be my, I can feel it come in and be my eyes, my thoughts, my mouth, my, actually I go through all my chakra systems and my hands. I can feel it. It is working through me. I can, it can feel my hands touching and then do each leg. And it feels my vehicle walking. You feel your whole body. Yes. You it and feel it. You yes. fill it up. Mm -hmm. So you surrender first to self-love and then surrender to the source. And to start the day that once I started doing that, that's when the book was written. That's when, oh my God, it's so much. Well, that's, that's the vehicle of creativity, right? When you open all the veins, when you open all your little neuron pockets, what do you, mm -hmm. whatever you call them, uh, it, you open it up. So it opens up the whole vein of creativity. Cause down there's the main vein of creativity. That's where all the babies are made and everything. Mm -hmm. It's the passion that comes up and it explodes mm -hmm. everything else. There was something I wanted to talk about. We were talking, we've, we've covered so much it's like, know, no yeah. <laughs> gone around all over the place, but you know what? Welcome to Siouxville because that's what I want. I want, <laughs> I, I want people to hear, feel, and, you know, new thoughts, new ideas. It's a new you. You take what resonates and leave the rest, right? Mm -hmm. And the biggest, the biggest takeaway in Divine Trust, in your latest book, Divine Trust, um, is that self-love, that, that trusting in that divine, trusting mm -hmm. again within yourself. 
I was going to talk about, I'm going to check our time here, about the self-love. And I know, and I, I love the practice that you have for yourself. And I know I'm going to give my example. The audience, I believe, knows this as well. When I was on my self-love journey and I didn't know what love felt like, I couldn't tap into that. I didn't, mm -hmm. it was just so much, right? Mm -hmm. I, I could, I, I'm like, well, what the heck is love anyways? You know, <laughs> I can't, I don't know what that is. So, uh, I had to recreate that. I had to find that. Like you use your pup, your dog, right? Mm -hmm. What is so profound for me is I went on YouTube and I found where babies, babies were giggling with puppies. You know, that puppy, mm -hmm. just that yes. pure love. Oh, yes. And that's, that's where I create my neural pathway. And then my mm -hmm. neural pathway then goes through this whole ch -ch 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 in my energy body. Mm -hmm. It's just, oh, yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. So what we are saying, Dr. Nancy and myself, find what resonates in your divine love and keep building on that. Make it a practice because you are creating new neural pathways, which is then creating new trust. And then outwardly in your 3D world, things, beings, people are going to start, you know, appearing synchronicities are going to start happening in your life that will reinforce that new love. And if there's things now, disclaimer, if there are things that are going to be a contrast, it's just an opportunity to learn. Mm -hmm. Have the CCs in your life. It's purely an opportunity. Don't shove it down. Mm -hmm. Look at it in the face and go, oh, okay, I love my life. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> just like I said this morning when I was right. having my technical. Oh, that's perfect. <laughs> yeah. And it is. I want that frequency. Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't want the disdain, you know. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, um, a really big, uh, big point. If I had, I can, I'm just want to interject is that yeah, you've got five minutes, five, eight minutes. You're good. honey. Okay. Is that, I used to think like when something was happening, it was just a figment of my imagination and I didn't trust in the, um, I didn't trust that anything special was happening. The more I allowed and I, communed with this, this, um, direct relationship and opened my heart, the more things started happening. So at first I was trying too hard. She would, Jetta would say, you're trying too hard. You're shutting it down by trying, trying is implying that you don't trust. Yes. Yeah, you don't the trust. Control. Oh, I'm so going to yes, control it. Yes, it's yes. coming my way. <laughs> yes. So when you relax and just let it be, like things start happening. You just have to loosen and and just allow. And things that you think you're, are your imagination, it's sometimes so subtle. Like it's like an experience or a, a feeling in your body and you discount it because that's what we're taught to do. We are taught to discount it. And um, my sister used to see like ghosts. We we had a house in Maryland. It was built in 1725. And I used to make so much fun of her. And now I'm like, she, uh, shiitake. <laughs> Thank you very much. Nice save. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Out of Danny. Thank you. Are we out of time? No, we got no, we two have two minutes, minutes, but nice save too, by the way, with your shiitake. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Shiitake. <laughs> So, um, but now like, yeah, I see things, I experience things that are just like, I mean, I could write a book just on the profound supernatural things that happen in my life. And as a scientist, oh, yeah. quantum physics explains everything. You know how, um, in big bang theory, Sheldon always poo poos the psychics. And I'm like, Sheldon, you're a, you're a quantum physicist. Hell, or shiitake. You <laughs> should be, you should explain it just with quantum physics. And I'm like, the more I learn about quantum physics, the more it explains everything, all my experiences with people who have passed over, who I can see and give me messages that are oh like, my gosh, oh. you're, you're speak you're so in my wheelhouse. I, I've <sighs> got, I, I've been, I've been talking to dead people for years. <laughs> I, you know, I just, you know, I, I've got such a different effortless feeling. Did you, did you, I, did he, did you cultivate it or did it just happen for me? It just happened. And I'm like, shoot, I'm already a psychic medium. I might as well delve into and, and learn with some of the best ones because, you know, I'm already having all these crazy experiences, like just beyond. So, yeah, yeah. well, I, I'm <laughs> natural born and then I shut it down because it scared me and I didn't, I didn't, I didn't have my grandmothers and my peoples and then 
over the multiple years, I found my tribe and my peoples to help me understand it and um, to foster it and to not uh, be afraid of it. Okay. My producer is saying we got to go. Dr. Nancy, okay. it's been an absolute delight, my love. <laughs> Divine Trust, a practical guide to end your suffering and find your way home. Audience, it's your definition of your love, your way home. It could be purple chopsticks. It could be Gus. It could be divine. It could be source. You find that self-love within yourself. All of you, thank you so much, Dr. Nancy. We're going to see you next week. And until then, each of you are a gift. Get out there and share yourself with the world.